Okay, in this example, we are going to solve uh, the uh, this improper integral. So what makes this improper is that if you notice, uh, for uh, for for this uh, for a function we have, right? It is one over x cubed. So let me write that over here actually. Okay, so what makes this improper is that our bounds, our bounds are going between minus one and two, but however, uh, zero we have a, a vertical asymptote of x equals zero, so that is between minus one and two. So we're integrating, um, so the the bounds that we're integrating on includes a, a undefined includes a undefined value. Okay, and that occurs at x equals zero. Okay, so it's undefined for this function. So we're gonna since the since the uh, value since the zero is between negative one and two we're gonna have to split this up into two parts. Okay, so we're gonna take the integral from minus one to zero. Okay, then okay we're gonna have dx over x cubed plus the integral from zero to two of dx over x cubed. So now what we have to do is we have to um, solve these, okay? So let's first solve each of these. So let's first focus on this one. Okay, so for the first one, okay, we have the integral going from minus one to zero, dx over x cubed. Okay, so therefore, um, we're going to rewrite this in terms of the limit. Okay, so we have minus one to zero, so that corresponds to this region. Okay, for the integral. So we're trying to figure out, okay. Okay, let's call this, um, let's see. Let, yeah, so let's, we're gonna call this, uh, we're gonna let B now approach zero. So we wanna figure out uh, we're gonna let b approach zero from the right, from the left side. So we want to figure out whether this area is converging or diverging. So we're gonna have limit b approaches zero from the left side. That's the integral from minus one to b dx over x cubed. Okay, so taking the integral of that. Okay, so the integral of one over x cubed is going to be, um, remember that's the same as, so this is the same as the integral of one over x cubed, okay, uh, which is just the integral of x to the minus three dx. So that's gonna give us negative one half, okay, over x squared. Okay, so minus one over two x squared. And we're gonna go from minus one to b. So plugging these in, and then taking the limit, okay, you're gonna get minus one over two b squared. Okay, plus, okay, so putting in negative one, you're gonna get, we have a negative here, so plus one half. Okay, so since b is approaching zero from the left, this value, okay, this value is going to get smaller and smaller. Okay. And keep in mind, since b is approaching zero from the left, this is, and this is getting squared, so this will be, and there's a negative on top, so this will be approaching minus affinity, okay, uh, plus one half. Okay, so that's gonna give us minus infinity. And you can see that here, the area, right? This is the region below the x-axis. So that's so that means in this case, this region is diverging, okay? So therefore, um, if, therefore, since this first part is diverging, it doesn't matter what's gonna happen with the second part, okay? Uh, if it's converging this overall this will diverge 
Okay, if this diverges, if the second part diverges, this whole thing will diverge. Okay, so therefore we are, therefore, the integral from minus 1 to 2 of dx over x cubed is divergent. Okay, diverges.